I think people appreciate someone that's going to be very bold on what they stand. And that's hard, that's hard to do sometimes. It's very hard to do. I know that when Cancer and I, for example, were on the city council, oftentimes an A3 minority, so we'd be voting and we'd be losing A3 votes. We were very clear on what, where we stood and why we, why we took that stand. Right? And so it's important that you be very clear about who you are. Make principled decisions. And win or lose. Not where, that's where the self business comes in. It's not about whether you win or lose. If you take principled decisions, I was talking to Ro about it. He's run three times, I've run three times, but I'm three for three. He's one for three. But you know what? Even in his losses, he always took principled positions against Latos, if you remember, and was clear about who he was, right? And so again, the cancer said the cancer ran, he lost and he ran for council. He stuck with it. And he, he never changed who he was. He, he kept true to who he was, and he eventually won. But win or lose, he can go to sleep at night knowing that, okay, he gave all the effort, he was selfless about it, he will focus on the local community, and most significantly, he was bold about who he was and, and about where he stood. So those are just some quick pointers of, you know, and I mentioned other candidates and other electives, so I think you can see, it's always good to see like the action, the words going into action. I think we have plenty of examples of folks that act in that manner. You know, you know Rishi, is, we see him out and about, but as much as we see him out and about, he's doing activities in Saratoga pretty much every weekend. And so he understands local, now on top of that, because he's really the energizer bunny, he's doing all this other stuff too with the Democratic Party and around the area. But you have to really accept, you have to always focus on who it is that you represent. And being the first Indian American legislature or being one of the very few in Congress, it does matter that being one of the few matters. You have to always recognize that uh, and appreciate that. But ultimately, it's those who can vote for you that allow you to stay in that position of power and influence so that you can make positive change. And so I'm just very happy to see so many people here. Again, credit to Rishi and others that kept on putting the word out there. But this club is about empowering all of you throughout the Bay Area. And you don't have to run for office to be empowered. You, you don't have to hold a position of, a considered position of influence to make an influence in your community. So thank you all so much. There was one. He had only one elected leader in the Bay Area, and that was Ash Kalra, once upon a time. Today we have nine, because Ash has opened up doors. And I'll tell you why I ran for office. I ran for office because Ash planted the seed of thought in my head that Rishi needs to run someday. Right? So Ash has opened up the doors for a lot more people, and we have two phenomenal progressive leaders in Ro Khanna and Ash Kalra. Let's give it up for them. And uh, let's recognize Ash uh, Okay, next up we have a panel discussion. I would like to invite Yogi Chuk, I would like to invite Mahesh Nihali uh, to come up here. And it's all about community engagement because both of them, Yogi has been running a radio show about political activism. About political activism. And we'll get to hear about Rose, about uh, Yogi's idea. The reason I say Ro is because Yogi and Ro work so much in collaboration. Yogi's going to talk about what does it take for political activism. What does it take for us to get out there in the community and make change happen? Because Yogi has been spearheading this effort for many decades now. You know, right from the days at San Jose State University. Mahesh Niali was a force in Cupertino. You know, he did a lot of phenomenal work. Now he's in Santa Clara. This is a local term. You better be nice to it. So I'm going to have two mics. Let's sit down and let's have a little discussion. Start, start with Yogi. Good afternoon, everybody. It's such a pleasure.